Only Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646 902 5715. When you view this, is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2022 Sun Moon readings, see if they rang true for you or for somebody else. The first portion of this reading, go over the well, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, lay out the main cards, take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be the video link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Capricorn, Sun, Gemini's and Moons, Gemini Moons, not everyone gets your sarcastic humor, but those who like the nuances of your dry wit find you entertaining. You can be a fun person who also knows when it's time to get down to business matters at hand. You also like friends in the social scene, but like solitude and peace just as much. Ambitious, intelligent, and practical, you often do well in areas of business and science. At times, you can be so playful that people are surprised by your level of determination towards success. They learn to step aside when you begin to work hard and are motivated to inspire others to do the same. You can detach from your emotions quite easily when it is required, so you can come off as a cool customer in personal connections in matters of the heart. Add to this fact your aura of elitism, and you might come off as a snob to some. However, you make up for this with your excellent ability to communicate by mouth or in written form. Another one of your abilities is your adaptability. You can conform to ever-changing conditions and arrive at quick solutions to make the most of them. You actually enjoy this because it brings about a bit of excitement and adventure along with it. So Holy Spirit Angels, if I guide the universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for a Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons for the year 2023. Thank you for the one card for January, February, March. Can I please have three additional cards for the rest of the year? Can you please show me April, May, June for Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moons? April, May, June. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Can you please show me July, August, September for Capricorn, Sun? Okay. Gemini, Moons. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Make sure you look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below. In appreciation of my efforts, or in support of my efforts, always appreciated. Uh, Ten of Wands, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have we end on the Ten of Wands moving out of 2003 to 2024. So often when I have readings that have a little bit of a negative tone to them, uh, I kind of tell people, you know, the purpose of these readings is kind of give you a heads up, right? Um, you know, these readings are about, um, you know, uh, reading the energies as they are at this present time without <clears throat> intervention you coming in and seeing this is, is intervening okay so um and your privy to information normally would not be so you want to use that information uh to the best of your ability because if you see it coming you could probably come with a plan b use your free will to um avert the situation or just make a better situation out of it so that being said january february march we have the hangman in reverse <coughs> excuse me it seems to me as though you're kind of stuck um nothing is really kind of moving in the direction you would like to move have it move in um you know and it, it's it, it's sort of um the hangman in the upright is being stuck but in the reverse it's it's kind of like um putting your foot down um and adhering to a certain way that you want things and not compromising no matter what so saying to yourself okay this has to happen it has to happen like this if it doesn't happen like this um, too bad. Okay. And this is actually, um, things being hung, hung up because of you. Um, you know, the decision being stalled because of you. And usually, uh, this card has like a situation where you say to yourself, it, this, it has to be X, Y, Z. It has to be by this certain amount of time. If it's not done by this certain amount of time, I'm out, I'm doing something different or whatever your ultimatum is. So I kind of see you doing that in January, February, March. Be a little careful of that because sometimes um, you can have your expectation and, and your bar a little bit too high um, and that will you know set you up for failure or um, set you up for disappointment. So make sure whatever goals you have are attainable. Uh, in April, May, June, I see you um, redesigning your mousetrap, okay? So I feel as though you're refiguring out what your blueprint's going to be moving forward. I think whatever this was didn't necessarily pan out for you. So you're kind of studying, you're observing, you're figuring out what you can do, what is going to be the rock-solid plan in order to move forward, and kind of um, 
you know, get your goals that you're kind of pointed towards. Um, you can't afford to take another risk, I feel. I actually feel uh, at this juncture, um, you aren't doing really well in, in um, a financial scenario, monetary scenario, practical sense. I think you're kind of on shaky ground. So I get the feeling that um, you're saying to yourself, you know, I, I don't have a lot that I could lose. Um, I'm willing to work very hard, but I need to have a very solid plan to make sure that I don't lose anymore. Um, July, August, September, I see you sinking a little bit deeper in financial straits. Um, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is an inability to be self-sufficient, an inability to support oneself, um, being financially dependent on somebody else so that you can kind of, um, you know, pay the bills or things of that nature. And then it can also be just basically you working your butt off um, to try to get out of the hole that you kind of are in because you've had a lot of setbacks. And it could be due to, um, you know, some of these ideas you had or holding on to something longer than you should have. Um, and then I don't see it getting any better as we get into um, into October, November, December, because here you are really working very hard. And the rewards that you're getting for working are, are little far and few between. Um, you're exhausted, you're tired, uh, working your fingers to the bone. It could possibly be manual, manual labor, backbreaking work of some sort. So without going into the Vimeo reading, um, my advice right right away would be once you enter into January, February, March, assess what the situation is, what your um, what your expectations are, what your outcomes are. Um, I would kind of release those. I would let things kind of unfold organically um, or at least make them so they're attainable. A lot of times when we have these outcomes or expectations, sometimes they're larger than life and it can make it really difficult for us. Um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking. We'll see what it says in the Vimeo. Um, so make sure you click on the link below. It'll take you to the Vimeo reading where I, where I will have a deeper interpretation of these cards um, with these cards in addition to a card advice for 2022. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, and then also make sure you check out your 2022 Sun Moon predictions. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below. Otherwise, Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.